Today is June 26th, 2024, Wednesday, 1.37 a.m. I'm looking at the Euro USD. I'm currently in a trade. I'm attempting to make profit. It appears currently the situation is this. This is a one minute chart and recently it started to decline and hasn't it looks like it may have stopped so if i look at the five minute chart maybe it's because it's in the support area right here it's being supported whatever the news that has impacted it is being supported based on this region here support something is supporting it Look at that. If it wanted to, it could probably dip swing all the way down here. But it looks like it, the curve was more dramatic than this one here. So it looks like, boom, dipped a little bit, dipped a little bit, dipped. And then maybe, possibly, uh, it could reach back here. Or it might possibly start to swing up right here okay so what i'm hoping to do is what i have to do is get 400 bucks to pass the first stage um, i'm trying to figure out whether i can do that in one day it's going to be tough so here i am So I'm looking at a cradle here. Look at that. It's, so it's this. There's some liqu liquidity zone. This is this is a liquidity zone, which means that every time it gets here, it starts to sell off. Every time it gets there, it starts to sell off. Every time it gets there, there's going to be sell off. But it gets shallower every time. So there is a likelihood that it's going to shoot up. It's going to bounce. But I'm not sure how big the bounce is going to be. So I currently have a buy order here, buy order here, buy order here, a major uh, mark where this is also a liquidity zone. That's also a liquidity zone, liquidity zone, essentially represented by a resisted resistance area. This is also a resistance area. So the maximum that I can buy is four lots using the 5k account. So currently it's it's wedging, which means that if this candle remains in this area, it has a probability that it may indeed be a reversal. There is also a possibility that it could act as a cliff. The first, tr first couple of trades that I made if I look here, the first two trades were, I mean, massively a loss. This third trade got me back to par. And then the last three trades were losses. I've reduced the lot size from four to one to see truly if what I have, uh, my decision-making capability would be able to hopefully trying to go for a pass in a single day on a 5k account. Now I should be paid, uh, I should be paid next week. Today's already Wednesday. So next Monday, which is going to be essentially, um, anyway, so about six more days and uh, f five more days, I should be get another paycheck and should be able to purchase another challenge if need be but I'm I'm going to see if I can if I can pass it in a single day and see if my chart reading capability and my decision making capability and my reaction capability can indeed be uh, 
the right combination to make this happen. Right here. Ideal if <clears throat> if I'm able to reach this point with a heavy lot size, that would be fantastic. But what my concern is that um, what will happen is that it'll be a green candle, it'll just weak down like this. And that could be a very, very painful situation. So when I see something like this here, like that, that is a cause for alarm. It may not necessarily be a good news. See, look at that. Right here, it's already starting. It is possible it's going to wick down all the way down here. With the single lot, uh, currently it's from here to here is 30. So if I were to draw this, if that's 30 right here, okay. If that's 30, roughly that much, that's going to be about 60, about 90, that's about 120 right there. Now, if I were to double up, that would be, like I said, if I were to double up here, I should have doubled up a while back ago. I might double up when it gets here. Making it happen with two lots instead of one lot is far better. Let's see what happens in this region. Will it be rejected? Okay, I'm in. So this one here. Let's move it up there to see, to think about what I need to do. So that's going to be, that's going to be at 7055. It's going to be 7055. 7055. Right there, I think that's, that's one right there. So I have three lots working, but it's going to be effective. <laughs> <coughs> the three lots need to be effective. It can't be. It has to be effective. Three lots is sufficient. We'll let it go on the fourth one. Three lots is sufficient to, I mean, if it, if for, if somehow this thing is able to climb all the way back, I don't know if it will. If it, if it is able to climb all the way back here for grins, I 
I mean, if it reaches here, I will pass. Even with just three lots. Three or four, I, you know. Look at that wick rejection. That thing was at almost a hundred. I was down fourteen. So I gotta be at one fourteen in order to be uh, two percent. I need to get eight percent to pass this challenge. So one hundred dollars is two percent. Let's see if I can get to two hundred dollars. It's showing some crowning here, which means that chances are it's gonna dip. See, look at that. It's dipping. That red candle is a clear demonstration that it is on its way down. Yep. So these two now are a liability. It hit this resistance here and immediately impacted right here. Had I bought it here, three of them, had I known that it was gonna do this. <laughs> okay. That would have been one hundred and twenty dollars, mm. which essentially represents two percent. Now it's minus two because of those two lots. Mm. I'm thinking the big curve essentially broke here so maybe I'm, I'm just looking at it I have no idea I'm thinking that up to this point even with this I mean there should be this should be a significant resistance here but but this area should be like a sort of a resistance sort of a that's what I'm thinking because it, it dipped here and there was an abrupt drop which means that here is when the camel's back broke right there currently 13 minutes into the trading Ninety-one, which I have to subtract fourteen from it because I've already I started this trade with being fourteen dollars down. So if that thing becomes fourteen, I'll make two percent. One fourteen will make it two percent. If this thing goes up here, I would I suspect that it's going to be one hundred dollars more right here. I suspect I suspect that's going to turn two hundred if this thing hits right here. And if it gets up to here, that would be 300. Then I'm halfway there, which is equivalent to 4%. But if it reaches here, that would be 8%. And I would pass. So there was a pullback, went up, pullback. The thing about, the thing about a rebounding is I don't know where where the apex where the top is. I don't know unless on only on hindsight do I know uh, where the top is. Okay, unless somebody has some sort of a reliable means to calculate where the top is. I don't know. It started here, started to drop. I mean, if I'm saying that. Whatever the news that was impacting it was 
erroneous or an overreaction, and then this thing returns back up here, then I'll pass the challenge, okay? And then I can look forward to the phase two challenge. All right. So had I bought had I bought uh, had I bought four four lots, which would have made it. I mean, I I mean that would be incredibly scary. So now it's at eighteen, which means that it's right now it's one. That's two percent. I'm up two percent now. So it seems to be reacting with this 100 uh, period moving average right here. Looks like it, uh, it reacted with it. As soon as it touched it, it did that. I'm thinking, okay, so if, if this thing goes above that, perhaps it's on a bullish trend. I was thinking about this today as I was watching uh, as I was washing dishes. The moving averages and the current candlestick position, the current price states gives information about where the direction is. Okay, so the current price right now, here, if I were to extrapolate this with a drawing that I have, I mean, it's it is it is the uh, backside. This is the backside. That's the front side. Whereupon. If I look here, uh, up to this point, up to this point, that's the front side, which means that it's just going down. Now the back side is here. And where the top of this is, I don't know where it is. Where is it going to go? Nobody knows. Okay? Truly nobody knows. But now the 14 period moving average, 50 period moving average, uh, 100 period moving average, is below the current price, which means that supposedly it's a bullish thing, right? It's a bullish thing. So now, currently, I have approximately about a two percent gain. I was almost at three percent, but it started to drop right here. So it looks like there's some resistance there. There seems to be resistance. It's settling upon that 100 period moving average right there. What I'm hoping is that it's going to go back up there. That will give $100 right there. That will make it 250. If this thing goes up to here, that will be 250, which is essentially 5%. And all I have to do is make three more percent. I'm done with this challenge. Okay, currently I have 3%. Uh, three percent gain with this. So if I were to draw the top side of this area here, um, I don't know if there's a way to like figure this out. I mean, it started from here, uh, and. Uh, it's just the 30% 30, 30 of whatever that thing is. Um, or is it, this is a 60% re retracement. If I were to draw Fibonacci, if I were to draw Fibonacci, I mean, is that, what it is? is that how the numbers work? Hmm. And after it reaches it, does it drop or does it, slowly creep up or how, what is the what is what what are the responses so the current profit is about 140 was 140 so currently i have approximately about a three percent gain at this stage and this is where okay now it's dropping as soon as i said that it started to drop It was at 150. That's the way things are. <clears throat> that was the resistance area here. <clears throat> Perhaps that's the Fibonacci 
30 percent i don't know As surely as it went down, as surely will it go up? No, I'm only at 2% gain. That little move right there was $50. That little, that candle right there is $50 candle. That is a $50 candle. That is a $50 candle right there. If it moves up to here. If that's 50, right there's 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, right there. That's 400 right there. And if it's there, then I, I'll clearly pass. That's 400, that's a passing point right there, which is for three lots. But it's gonna, it's gonna hurdle this area here. It's gonna, it's gonna pass, hurdle this. But it seems to be a extremely, uh, liquid area it looks like it is moving slow if somebody reaches there which is essentially where the drop occurred where where the dump started to occur but if it started to come back up, that's 400. Many times what happens is that if I hold it too long, it could retrace and uh, take all my gains, just like it did just here. See that? Now it's at 118, which is just 2%. I would think that if it goes past here, it is still bullish and it would pick up some steam, I think, maybe. But it is having a very difficult time here. There's no guarantee that it's going to go back up. It's, it's, it, it's possible it's going to drop too. I don't know. I may just go back to here. See, look at that. It has crossed over 150. There's a crossover. I wonder if that's a, that's probably not good news. I don't know. See, when it does this, it's coming down. There is a crossover. There's a crossover. There was a spike here. This point may just be the top right there. It just m might turn out to be the top of A right here. Make it thick to show that it is a significant place right here. That is a serious barrier right there. That's a serious barrier. Because down, up, bounce down, and then might try again, maybe.
So again, this has to be 114 in order to make 2%. Sell at 2%. I actually had uh, 3% right here at that point right there. That was 3% right there. 3%. And I was thinking, okay, so if I get out of this trade, what, what else am I going to do? Oh, well. It could just go meander and meander and meander. The NASDAQ, Dow Jones, S&P 500, USD JPY. Oh, it's, it's climbing. Look at that. That would have been a, wow, incredible gain. Look at that. That would have been, whoa. Oh, just for today. This is starting to tell me that I should have been wiser selling here. And if I needed to, got back in your hair. If somehow this thing reaches here, I may have to close it. And, but if it reaches there, there's a chance that it could break through too. So something to think about, something to consider. <clears throat> something to consider, but holding onto this right here, it's holding its levels. I would have been up about 4% had I bought this earlier, obviously. Because if I look at here, at that point, that would have been 70 bucks. That would have been $300. Right there, had I had three left, that would have been 300. Had I bought four left, that would have been 400. From here to here, it's $100 right there. Oh. Actually, 70, right? That's 70. Mm. Mm. Pardon me. So now it's just going sideways. So the so the fourteen period has climbed above the current price. The fifty is below and the 200 is about to be below. Now I'm at 2%, precisely at 2%. 2%. What seems to be show, uh, shaping up is called something called a cup and handle. That's the cup. That's the handle. That's bullish. If this thing completes here, it means that it has, it is possible. It is possible when it, in it, when it finishes this cup and handle right there, at this point of contact, it is likely it's going to, it's going to do this. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, that's, that's, that's what's called a cup and handle. So now I'm 2%. I'm 2% there. Okay, now it's dropping back down. It's a lower high right there. Okay. So that could be it. Now that. It's going to break that and then start to drop. So obviously it didn't finish that cup and handle. So it's not a cup and handle. Now it's dropping. 
So it looks like it wants to retrace back. Or possibly it could be in a trading range now. It could be, it could be bound, it could be said that perhaps this could be building some strength as to uh, support right here. Wishful thinking, I don't know. Right there. And then it's resistance, support, resistance, support, toggling back and forth. But that actually is lower than here. So in order to make meaningful information, it has to be above here. This is the price in order to consider. Uh, oh, wow. That's how things are. So if, so far, let's see, one minute, two, three, four, five, six minutes, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes, one, two, three, four, five, about approximately about 15 minutes. It's been in this area for 15 minutes so far. Okay. And it is sloping. It is sloping. And it could drop off. And I could be saying to myself, oh, I should have just taken that 3%. <laughs> I could have just, I should have just taken that 3%. All right. And then instead of just, <laughs> I mean, I could have just, I could have just taken that 3% and it would have been all over and the trade would have been all over. Sometimes, I suppose sometimes what I can say is that, oh, you know, hey, I sold too soon. Isn't that, you know, that's sometimes it's a good thing, especially when it turns out that because you didn't sell, the price has retraced and uh, all the gains had disappeared. So if this thing goes to about 60 or 70, all right, that means that I would make 3%. I would have 3%. 64 would be 3%. If this thing hits 64, uh, I may have to take some profit. That's a really good green candle right there. That's a really good one. Will it survive? I'm not going to find out. Okay. So right there, there I am. Okay, I just settled on almost a 3% right here. That's the area of resistance. So I'm out of this trade. If it starts going up, and reaches here, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to myself, oh, God, I sold too soon. <laughs> okay, so in order to pass, I need to have three, uh, 8%, which means I have to, I have currently 5 more percent to go, which coincidentally is the phase 2 percentage. Okay. Usually, usually what happens is anytime there's a big candle like that, there's a pullback. Big candle like that, there's a pullback. Big candle like that, pullback. Big candle, pullback. Big candle, not necessarily with this strength. Big candle, not necessarily. This candle had a pullback. Now that, right there. Candle, pullback, green. That's the normal structure. Even if this is inverted, it does that. I've been burned many times. Oh, you see that? Wow. Sold too soon. Sold too soon. Well, maybe not. That's That turned out to be a wick. So I need to figure out where the what the best entry point is for the next one. See, this is something that I need to after I exit the trade, then I have to figure out, okay, so what am I gonna do now? How am I gonna trade? Where am I gonna enter? I don't know where I'm gonna enter. 
if I got out of trade and it stays there, what is the, what is the right place to get in? So now I have to figure out where is the point where I can enter. Okay. So I'm thinking about should I enter here? But this is actually at the top. Okay. It could it could retrace. What if it's above? Okay. Is it gonna like wick down or something? That's something that I need to investigate as well. So it's here. I suppose what I can do is if this thing drops to here, I could get in. Okay. But if it drops to below here, it's considered a retracement. So this is a I can say that this is a trading range now. This is a trading range right here. Bouncing from here to here. That's what I can say. Okay, so if this thing drops to here and then shows some signs that is reversing up, then I can get in. And then if it drops to here, I can sell. But that could be expensive. Okay. So that trade gave me about 90 bucks right there. That's 37 bucks, 31 bucks. Now it's up 143. All right, I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be right back. back it's holding it's holding on to its so what I can do uh, I suppose I suppose I can size down so that I can preserve it so it would give me it would allow me to buy some time but the gains I get will I would have to like It'll take double the effort in order to achieve. So, let's see here. Should I see it here? I'm coming back. So, I'm uh, waiting for this. Uh, so, it's toggling back from here to here. Uh, that's NASDAQ. Look at that. That's up big time. That's recent. Minute candles. So somehow, after hours, something happened that caused it to spring up. So this is actually doing a pennant or a wedge right here it's doing a wedge that's a wedge that is bullish especially in this case where it recently experienced a 
drawdown, downturn, coming back up here, it's gonna, it's, it, it is liable to have a green candle, a big green candle here somewhere. It could pop. And in other words, it could pop. Okay, there's that pop right there. That's the pop right there. If I was going to do that, why did I exit? <laughs> if I was going to re-enter at that point, why did I exit? Having lost this much gain. And then now, losing. So, if that was 50 with 3, that would be about 20. So, let's see. Um, okay, so the idea, uh, it's it's going to be tough. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Trying to pass this thing in a single day, uh, achieving 8% gain. Wow. That's tough. But it's going to be moving in my direction with some ferocity okay down six Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to boil some water. I have some green tea. I'll drink some green tea while I'm waiting. So what am I waiting for? I'm already in a trade. Putting on a size right now seems to be precarious. Okay, now currently I'm down three bucks, two bucks, one bucks. Whoa, look at that. You see that candle that I was talking about? That's what happens when there's a wedge and it forms into a narrow end and then pop. If I had four. If I had three lots, that would have been 50 bucks right there. That would have been a $50 gain. The water is boiling. It's reaching somewhere. Let's get out. I'll take it. Anytime there's a candle like that, there's going to be a retracement. Unless it's something like these. Possibly. It could be that happening or that happening. But if this happens, then it's going to drop. If that happens, then that could have been one, two, that could have been a 200%. I could have just, yeah. If I am able to trade like that a few more times, I should be able to reach halfway. I should I should be at halfway there. I looked left and I saw this range right here. That's why it's this green candle stopped there. Okay, so I need 41 in order to be at 4%. Okay, this I'm gonna stop the video now. I'm gonna figure out how I can do this. <laughs>